involvement of uh, Yahoo Buzz, the involvement of social media with me, um, uh, among others, is really encouraging the community to participate. Um, how 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 will this um, how how will this change uh, if the Yahoo culture, if you if you want to call it, because because before it's really all about you, uh, the site serving information to the people, but now it's the community giving the information and sharing it to everybody else. How how do you intend to oversee this so that um, it will not be abused or it will not be misused, but at the same time. Um, fulfill uh, Yahoo's purpose also of uh, giving relevant content to its audience? Uh, good question. Um, Yahoo's history, the entire Yahoo culture, the company, has been built on servicing the community. And you'll know this from the very first days of Yahoo, when we were first a directory service before we became a media company the way we are now. So. In terms of serving the community, now that has changed. If you look at the kind of products that we have, answers, groups, Flickr, uh, meme, all of these kind of speak to what we want to be as, as a company. And as a company, we want to be the centering point where everyone goes to as part of the day to get updates on what's going on in their lives, in their friends' lives, the news, and everything that concerns them. So as far as the community and the business goes, I would say none of this has changed, really. We're just discovering more tools uh, to work with our community and just to figure out exactly what they're looking for and finding new ways of opening these doors for them. Um, so watching and learning how people have been using social media has been a great lesson for the company. Uh, we're looking to find as many ways as possible to to give people the right tools that they need to express themselves um, and to do that responsibly. Right. Howie. Hi, Howie Severino. Um, can you just elaborate a little bit on this, your concept for uh, shepherding the community? Because some might react to that, to the use of that word as something a bit messianic because Jesus is also the God, a shepherd, right? <laughs> That's right, he's also the son of God. <laughs> um, the, the concept of a shepherd was, uh, was basically that of a community manager. And um, you basically need someone to get the conversations going online. See the conversation, get people thinking about the question that you're trying to ask. Get people discussing things and basically moving the community uh, and connecting them with other audiences who may share the same uh, passion and, and, you know, um, and interest. So, you know, it was, it was never, I guess, when I first thought about this, I considered a few other terms. I thought maybe Sherpa would be one of them, but I don't think the Sherpas will like that. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of settled on on the shepherd because I thought it was a, just a great analogy to, to, um, to explain how online communities work. Ultimately, you need someone who drives and moderates a conversation. Um, and great communities online rise and fall by the kind of moderation and, and the community managers that, that work with the users. Um, so yeah, I hope that kind of answers the question. Not meant to be Jesus. <laughs> Okay, oh, go for it. Let's see when this goes. I think we'll have to No, it's a long issue. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sherry Lee, and I'm from the City of I was just wondering, you mentioned poster earlier. Why do you say that it will be an important journey? I like that question. Are you a Foursquare user? Not yet. Okay, Foursquare. Uh, basically uses geotagging and GPS to figure out where you are. And it gives you a chance to say, hey, I'm at, you know, Greenbelt 5. What is interesting is that not only does it actually say where you are, it gives you a chance to say what's happening now here, right? So it's not just what's happening now, but what's happening now 
in here. So if you were, say, a reporter covering the community beat, and um, you want to know what's going on in Makati, for example, Following people on Foursquare would create plenty of opportunities for you to figure out what's going on there. So, for example, someone walks down the street, sees a car accident, turns on Foursquare, marks themselves with a GPS, and basically says, there's an accident here. As a reporter, it gives you a chance to go, ah, there's a story there, let me just tell them now. Right? Uh, there are other ways to use this, and I, and I was thinking during the, the Ondoy disaster, how cool it would have been if we had a tool like this at that time, that had widespread use. So people who were sitting on the roofs because their homes were flooded, if they could geotag themselves on GPS and say, I'm out here, I need some help, right? Imagine the help that they could get quite quickly. And for journalists, it's a chance for you to say, ah, okay, there are about five people in this district who are not getting the support that they need. So right there, we have a story. So I think this is going to be a very interesting development as far as news goes, right? So it's not going to be what's happening now, it's going to be what's happening now and here. Any more? Okay, thank you.